quick lesson on naming anhydrides. Each of these names is going to be three words long. The final and third word of each is going to be anhydride. The two first words are going to come from the lengths of each of the carbon chains with OIC endings, like they were carboxylic acids. In fact, that kind of looks like it could be related to a carboxylic acid, and that one does as well. Now, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six carbons long, and so it's going to be hex anoic. Again, if there was an H here, instead of all this other stuff, it would have been hexanoic acid. And instead, we're going to call it hexanoic anhydride. The other word is going to be related to the length of this carbon chain. One, two, three, four. Four is butte. Now, between the first two words, you're supposed to alphabetize them. I kind of looked ahead to see which one would go first. B comes before H, so we're going to call this butanoic hexanoic anhydride. These are alphabetized, not related to the length of the chain. Let's do that just one more time here. This is two carbons long, that's ethanoic. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is decanoic. D comes before E, so we'll put it before ethanoic. And the third word is anhydride. Nice, we've already named two of these. Now what happens if both of those carbon chains are the same length, you only have to say that word once. Rather than calling this ethanoic, ethanoic anhydride, you just shorten it to a single ethanoic anhydride. And when people see that there's only a single oic in front of anhydride, they know it's on both sides of the chain. Same here, one, two, three, four, five. Five is pentanoic. And if you say pentanoic anhydride, we know it's a pentanoic chain on both sides of the OOO. Nice. Now, one last method that I've also seen is naming it as though it was an ester. An ester is when you have a double bonded O and a single bonded O, and then a carbon chain, which we kind of have here, except we have this double bonded O on the first carbon of that chain. Well, you're going to be allowed to name this as an ester with that kind of carbon chain, but that extra carbon chain gets its ending changed to OYL to represent the fact that there is a double bonded O here. Now, for this one, you're going to have to use the longest of the two carbon chains as the ester. This carbon chain is clearly longer. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means this is going to be named as an octan O8. That's the ending we use for esters. And then this is a one, two, three, four carbon long chain. Usually we would call this but, uh, butyl octanoate, but because we have that double bonded O, we're going to call it butan oil. That is a butane, one, two, three, four carbons long with a double bonded O on the first carbon there. You are allowed to call this butan oil octanoate, Although according to our original method, we would end up just calling it, uh, well, but comes before oct. Each of those get the OIC endings, and then you just say anhydride. If you look at each of these anhydrides on Wikipedia, it says both of these are acceptable because some chemists call it one version and some chemists call it the other. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.